Today we're going to show you Google's Imagine right out of the box, how to get the most out of it using prompt structures and creating awesome fine-tuned results. Let's go. Google Imagine using the power of Gemini to create images. Um, so really simple. All you do is type in the prompt, create an image of a dog riding a surfboard, hit enter, and you're going to get some four pictures of a dog riding and a... Um, a surfboard so pretty cool and right out of the box all right so what we're going to do today is go through exactly how to sign up so what you need to do is type in bard.google.com and if you haven't already signed up sign up and um, here you're going to be met with the um, traditional google bard canvas and ultimately here's where you're going to type in your prompts it's an experimental taste uh, phase at the moment but what we want to do is um, start with um, one word prompt so let's go create image of a polar bear all right so basic really simple um, right out of the box what it's going to do is it's going to create a image of a polar bear all right, as you can see, it's made really, really short work of that. And um, what you can do is you can click on generate more or you can click on the image to see if you like that. All right, you want to download it. You can click on the download full size over here and that'll be great. Um, if you want to see the previous one, you can look at that over there. So again, some pretty nice interface here um, of the images that have been created. If you like it, give it a say a good response. Um, because um, what you're basically doing here is you're reinforcing the model, you're reinforcing that Google is producing the right images that you've asked it for. It's all training. It's all training. That's all we. That's all it's building up here. So this is going to get better by the more the more you provide your feedback. All right. So that's great. Um, all right. So let's do a two-word uh, prompt here. So let's go create an image of a cutaway house all right so basically we've got two subjects so we've got a cutaway and a house and let's hit enter all right so here's your first image over here is a cutaway picture of a house and um, it's pretty much hit the brief over there all right, so what happens if we wanted to do um, something a bit more sort of advanced and um, work with some um, different styles different techniques, different ways of generating the images. Well, what we're going to do first is add in a type of um, style or a photographer. So let's maybe do a photography style over here. So let's go create image of a house in style of Max Ernst. Okay, so Max Ernst is just one of the um, artists that are out there. And what it's going to produce is a style of a house in a similar vein as what Max Ernst would create. I'm not affiliated with Max Ernst, but this is what it would basically do. All right, so as you can see, the style has now completely changed what the imaging is going to look like. It's extremely powerful. All right, um, if you wanted to get some more styles, what you could do is go to midlibrary.io. It's all completely free. And you can um, basically browse different styles um, for different things that you would like. So you can click on all styles and you can basically have a have a little squiz over here at what it looks like. OK, um, so, yeah. So if you liked um, any of these styles over here, you just pop in Peter Dribben as the type of style that you like. Um, or if you prefer something a bit more um, eclectic, you can do something like Mark Grotjen and um, type it in over here and just say create image in the style of x all right that's great okay so let's let's level it up even more you are on level up plus so that's what we're going to do now we're going to level it up plus so, all right so what we want to do is create an image of a house it's an action scene by the director james cameron ultra realistic house with cool things around it wide aerial shot using a cannon and lighting is natural so let's hit enter and see what it does Right, it's gonna. It, there is responsible AI built into this um, application. So if you put on something that's but untoward, like a house on fire or anything that's uh, particularly sensitive, um, it will not create it for you. Okay, so this is what um, the picture is going to be created now. So there's your um, picture, and as you can see, it's going to be completely different to just a house. 
Okay, so this is what a James Cameron house would look like. All right, so really, really cool. Um, ultimately, what you can do now is start playing around with different types of shots, different type of subject. So let's go create image of beautiful sandy beach. Um, let's do cinematic um, sand castles and uh, waves on the beach. Okay, so soft beach and rolling landscape. Um, sunny weather. Uh, and we can do a Canon EOS as well. All right, so as you can see, we can do multiple different things and the, the imagination is up to you of what you would like to create. All right, so there is your beautiful sand castle on a beach with some waves um, and looking pretty decent if you ask me. All right, so out of the box, it works pretty well. Um, play around with your different uh, styles, your photos, your directors, your scenes, and ultimately um, keep experimenting and I will um, create more videos if you like this. So let me know, thumbs up, comments down below of what you would like to see. Thanks for watching.